Hello everyone, my name is Eric and today we have to settle the debate of what really does the size bring to the blend. You are watching Oakland Tobacconist. If you're interested in the royalty by Black Label Trading Company or many other Black Label Trading Company, check us out. You know where to find us. Just follow the breadcrumbs. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps us here on the channel. Make certain you hit the bell so you know when we are coming out with new content. We want to bring you the best education of this industry as we can. Cigar sizes. What do they mean? What is the point? As you may or may not have known or realized that there is a vast, vast plethora, did you say plethora, of different sizes throughout the industry, and a lot of those vary. Now, it's most common in the American market to see Robusto, Toro, and Gordo, Robusto being traditionally around 5x50 or 52 gauge, a Toro being 6x50 or 52 gauge, and then a Gordo, which is a 6x60 gauge. And I think a lot of this has to do with the perception of value um, for what you're smoking, the duration length, the whole nine yards. Gordo is a very, very popular size. However, is it the best size? There's a lot to be said about comfortability. Does it feel good in your hand? And for a lot of gentlemen and a lot of ladies out there, 6x60 is a very good, comfortable, weighted size. And the duration of about an hour and 20 minutes to almost two hours is a duration that they want and they're comfortable with. Hence, I think Gordo really moves that market and really has that popularity because you have a pretty comfortable smoking size for a long duration. However, on the flip side, there are many others who find 6x60 too cumbersome, too large. So sense of scale, this in my hand is the Royalty Corojo from Black Label Trading Company, 6x60. They call it a Gran Toro. Gordo, same thing, six inches long, 60 gauge. And uh, it's rather popular here in the humidor. However, is this the best size and representation of what you should be smoking? Now, newly just arrived at the OGT humidor is a size rather on the opposite. And that is the Corona Royalty, rather smaller, and does it justify needing to smoke it? Now, the Corona is a benchmark, as it's been said many times, a benchmark size for the industry. It dates way back, and traditionally a Corona is in the five and a half inch by six inch long and 42 gauge to 44 gauge. This particular Corona really exemplifies the traditional size of a five and a half by 42. Um, but of course, this doesn't seem like a lot of value. Now, granted, the smaller size is going to be much more affordable. You're not going to pay as much as the Gordo. However, what is the purpose? What is the advantage of leaning towards the Corona size? Well, of course, the only way to find that out is to be smoking it itself. As I say, two very different sizes and you have larger ring gauge. Obviously, this has less tobacco. However, does that mean that the wrapper leaf has been pared down? Not necessarily. In fact, it probably has more wrapper leaf to filler ratio. So that is one advantage. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, light this up and see where we land. Now, as I remember, the, the royalty is more in that medium. It's got some cedary, nutty notes. It's got a little bit of a toastiness to it, a little bit of pepper up front, somewhat uh, muted, and then a little bit of earth as well. Let's see if this royalty Corona is a similar type flavor and if it's worth paring down the size. On the cold draw, draws wide open, whoa. Very different, different flavor. There's a little bit of like floral sweetness to a little bit of earth. <clears throat> Definitely not what I've experienced in the past with the Royalty uh, Gordo. We're gonna go ahead and light this up. Okay, so immediately, definitely medium strength. There is more richness though, as far as uh, like the sweetness and the uh, the buttery elements. It's very smooth, very easy. And I think Black Label is not always known for that like sort of calming, easy, smooth. It's normally like punch you in the face type of strength. This is definitely like medium right up the bat. but really good amount of sweetness on the retro. 
that buttery note is coming through and I get just more of a like direction. Uh, sometimes when I've experienced larger ring gauges versus smaller ring gauges, you have sort of like that like kind of airy kind of uh, mix within the the smoking experience. It's a little more light, has more of like the, the kind of airy element to it and that's some of the filler tobacco in there as well. This has been pared down so it's more concentrated. It's definitely going one side. Beautiful, beautiful flavor. Uh, definitely like that creamy, nutty, goes well with type of coffee type of uh, smoke, but really easy on the palate. So full in flavor, medium strength, not too aggressive, um, but really capturing the essence of that Corojo tobacco. So should you sacrifice flavor for value? And that, of course, is the endless debate. Should you sacrifice that? Now, now me as a consumer in the beginning, I always move towards bigger ring gauges, longer smoking experience, simply because that's what I wanted. However, trying different blends will really direct, is the perception of value always relying on time or is the value in the flavor? Now, smoking both of these, I would say still, if you're one for a bigger ring gauge, you like that comfortability, that 6x60 is gonna definitely have it. But if you want more richness pointed flavor and you want more of that like full palate uh, envelopment, of the Corojo tobacco, I would definitely say try the Corona. And that is really part of my mission as well as the mission of the blenders. What is the best representation of this blend in what size for you? So I would say those are the two high points. I don't necessarily think that value is always found in time. If that's the way you wanna judge it, then that's where you're gonna end up. However, I think value can also be richness of flavor and enjoyment. And while this is a smaller cigar, depending if you're smoking inside, outside, you will have a lot of value when it comes to the actual flavor of the Royalty Corona. Just a beautiful, beautiful flavor. Really nice on the retro. But now it's time for you to figure out what is the best value, what does that mean, and how is it translated in your smoking experience. As always, thank you for joining us here on the channel for all the support. We will see you next time. I am Eric for OGT. Oh,